the people that are looking to buy one of these cars, or owners that have one of these cars, that are looking for practical advice on living with them. And the other day I was actually uh, replying to one of my uh, uh, subscribers uh, on a video, and he brought up a very good point about the importance of history in a car when you're buying it. It really trumps a lot of everything. He's really right, and I want to thank Audio is Good for, for pointing this out again. I was going to talk about it, but I wanted to talk about it from the angle of the importance of the Ferrari service manual. So I think this is a really key part of the part of the car. When you buy one, they should be included in this. And I really don't understand why cars are sold without it. They go missing, or owners sell them for whatever reason. The mechanics uh, lose them. That's a really important part of the car's history. But what can trump it is a very thorough history from the car's ownership throughout its whole history, from the time the person uh, bought the car uh, to the time it's being resold. And if you're going to buy one of these cars, all the history of the invoices should be included in it. And I would definitely be looking elsewhere if they're not. Uh, if you can combine that, with this Ferrari service manual where you see all the stamps of every major and minor service that was done since the car was purchased. Now this is perfect. That's really what you want to have. But you want to be aware of any car that doesn't have that. Equally you want to be aware of when you're buying a, a Ferrari or any you know exotic supercar, uh, new or old, these low mileage cars where they don't feel they need to include the service history is also very dangerous. It doesn't matter how many miles have been on the car. If it's a 20, 30, uh, 10 year old car, there should have been things done. And if they're not included in the car when you purchase them, then you should be very, very leery about that. And this is something I think any owner, if you're looking to buy one of these cars, that has to be the top of your list. The first question you ask is, is the service history, is the service book with the car, are all the receipts there? And I looked for that when I was purchasing my 328. When I was purchasing the Testarossa and the 550, I made sure that those things were with the car, and if not, I looked elsewhere. So when you're going through the process of doing this, um, that's your first question. Second thing is if you're looking to sell one of these cars, okay, take that, take that very seriously. There's no reason for you as an owner to hold back your receipts and not let them go with the car. I don't understand that whatsoever when somebody would want to do that. You're not hiding anything. In fact, you're being more, more open and transparent and that's going to create more value in the car. So make sure if you sell a car, keep everything with it, keep the photos of everything that's been done and you're going to do the new owner a real service. Uh, and you'll keep the value of the Ferrari, the classic Ferrari, the new Ferrari you have, but keep it high. And that's really, really important in these cars is to think about it that way. And I, I wanted to talk about this on a, an upcoming video and thank you again to Audio is Good for inspiring me to talk about that. Because it's a really important part of this ownership. It's probably the, the most important part is to make sure there's a good service history in the car, make sure there's a manual with it, and then you can go the next step and take the car more seriously. Anyways, I hope that's I hope that's helpful. I hope you can hear it. But it's better to do this in the car so you can actually be part of this experience. Uh, it's more interesting anyways. But uh, yeah, there you go. There's more advice from a Ferrari Classics owner to maybe a future owner. If you have any comments or questions, by all means, leave that up in the chat. If you haven't subscribed, please do. There's going to be more content coming. I still haven't done my Ferrari review of a 328 of a GTS, what it's like to own. What I still feel is the best car uh, you can have as your first Ferrari, as a classic Ferrari. Uh, and I will do that one time. Anyways, look forward to it. Thanks for watching. Take care.